and to continue the unbeaten names for the future section of tonight's show it's now frank bullioni okay he made his professional debut earlier this month and he's back in action tomorrow night at york call on a box nation show i think he is anyway frank's debut was very lively to say the least he had an awful lot of people there and a real mix of people there were like 15 16 17 year old boys and girls and then there were men you know, 20, 30, 40. Then there were loads of the chaps about 50 odd years of age. It was a real raucous, lively, mixed crowd. And I'm delighted to say that, um, well, welcome Frank back to the show. I had him on last year, I think, when he was still dreaming of the Olympics. Now he's a pro. He's had one. He's got one more tomorrow. Frank, are you there? Hello, Steve. How are you, mate? You're fantastic. Frank, first of all, I don't think I've spoken to you since the... Um, since you won, that was a, a it was a good win, good finish, kept your head. But more than that, Frank, I mean, the, the crowd was a fantastic crowd you dragged along. Yeah, it was a great, uh, great support. Um, had all my family and friends there, so I couldn't have asked for any, anything better. And you couldn't have asked, but they they really fancied it as well, didn't they? They really enjoyed it and got into it, and yeah, they, it was good. And a real mix, Frank. Did you hear what I said there? I mean, there was like you know yeah. teenagers, and then there was like you know mid like twenty thirty year olds, and then there was loads of sort of fifty year olds, and there was hundreds of them. It was good. Well, I don't, I don't think the uh, the sport of uh, boxing is ages, so no, it's not. It's, uh, it's good to have a good mix. It's not, but just so often, like let's say when Kevin Mitchell first turned pro, little Kev when he turned pro, I mean it seems like hundreds of years ago now. He had about two or three hundred in Dagenham, but they were all about seventeen. You know, they, <laughs> and they all look no, it's the truth. Yeah. They all look the same, but your, yours was a right mixed group, and and that's good. That's good in my opinion because it yeah, of course it. You know, it suggests there's a few more quid floating around, but you know, when when really seven and eighteen year olds haven't got a lot of disposable income, have they? So you're boxing at York, or you probably boxed there. Blimey, I don't know how many times. Do you know how many times you boxed there, Frank? Oh, uh, it must be about three or four times as an amateur in the in the ABAs a few times, yeah. um, the novices. No, so now, in that first in that first fight against uh, Monteith, I mean, it was the, the finish was particularly clinical, if you don't mind me saying so. That, the way you swayed back and then delivered that final yeah, shot, I mean, that's um, what impressed me most. Yeah, we, we, me and Mark have been we've been working with Jim, sort of taking our time a little bit more and um, picking the shots. And mm -hmm. I think I was looking for it, and it, it sort of came out of nowhere, and um, it all sort of went to plan. So. Because yeah, the, the good thing that, uh, that struck me, Frank, is that you wasn't actually looking for it. As you said, it just sort of came along. It, yeah. was, it sort of naturally it settled in. Now, Frank, what are we going to do, mate, about involving the Italian community? Because I'm convinced that we could turn you into an Italian superstar here. I mean, you've got the look. You've got that old Frankie Valley thing going on for you. There's lots of Italians in, 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 in your fan base. I mean, what can we do? I mean, I want you sponsored by like an ice cream company and I want them ringside. No, I do. I'm te Why not bring a bit of colour into it? Just get an espresso well, machine in your corner. <clears throat> Between us, me and Mark are working on uh, maybe slipping an Italian nickname in somewhere. Like that. Oh. Is that, um, what, what, did, what did my producer call you at uh, Box Nation? He, he said, we'll call you the bug. And you said, actually, no, it's, the G's not pronounced. He went, OK, we won't call you the bug then. What, <laughs> give, give us a clue give, and give it to me in Italian. What might be happening? Um, well, the ball in Italian would be Il Toro. OK. okay. Um, or maybe uh, the line in Italian is Il Leone. That's good, isn't it? That's, I like that. So, uh, yeah, we're, just, we're working on a few. That'd be good. And and Frank, you know, did you hear me talking to you before? I don't know if I was talking about you. And I said, I want to see you coming to the ring in a full length gown. Like Arlene yeah, used to have. Right down to the floor. We, uh, we, didn't have, we didn't have time to order uh, anything for this fight. But, but you got it for the next we'll, one? Uh, yeah, we put it in place. Because I told you about those water polo players, didn't I? Six foot yeah. three, all of them in these big gowns. I'll tell you what. Oh, you, you, you honestly, you'd be cacking yourself if you were on the other side. You wouldn't want to get in the water with them. So I like that big gown, Frank. It's all about looks, son. Yeah, of course it is. It's all about selling yourself and promoting yourself. Yeah. So that's well, to, uh, that's to get it on board. Well, listen, Frank, uh, I'll speak to you tomorrow night before and after. Uh, get a good night's kip and... Um yeah, and, and, and we'll keep we'll keep updates on him every time you fight. Frank Bullioni there. Um, this kid's, a, he's a, I tell you what, he's a good fighter, good looking, lots of fans. You know, he'll be looked after. He'll move on very nicely. I really, I, I tell you, there's something about the kid. He's got a lot of poise, got a little, little bit of style.